Hey, good morning, good morning, family. Hey, I'm your boy Michael Kaye, world famous, world renowned, often talked about, alleged comedian, and this is my very first blog. Um, it is my fashion blog. Uh, it is it's called uh, Styling and Profiling. You know, uh, I thought I'd start this thing raw from the very beginning. Now, I got all kinds of people that usually work with me. You know, I have assistants, I have interns, I have a production manager. I got all them. Nobody was available today. So, I said, well, I'm just going to do it my damn self. And let me tell you something, people. That's the key to life. Don't wait on people. Don't wait on folks to help you. People are going to do their thing on their own time, on their own energy. If you waiting for help to come, shit, it ain't going to never get there. Your project ain't going to get done. You want to do something, do it yourself. Now, I planned a long time ago to do this. My intern called yesterday to say she's not available. What should I do? Scrap the project? Hell to the no. I go ahead and do it myself. I can set the camera myself. I'm sitting here myself. So just go on and do it if you're going to do it, okay? I know I, I put a couple pounds on. I'm trying to take that off, though. You know, I mean, I mean, really, this is why I really look. This, that, that's the real me. The, the real me right there. But right now, I'm holding my stomach in. Okay, my ribs are on fire. Okay, um, you, want, you want to start out, uh, if you want to do fashion. Now, this, this video is for men only, okay? In matter of fact, if your woman is in the room, put her out the room. This ain't for them. We don't want them to have all our secrets, okay? This is our stuff, right? How to boss up. How to be fly and stylish. You know, well, first, the first thing, though, is wash up. Wash up. Up, okay. The great philosopher Red Fox did an album called You Got to Wash Your Ass. And he said, You got to wash your ass. He said, I'm not talking about your whole ass. I'm talking about your ass hole. Oh, you'd be surprised how much funk you can get in the area the size of a dime or a quarter or a silver dollar. You know your ass better not do, but you got to wash your ass. Gentlemen, a lot of times you'll jump up and you think you flat, you go sniff yourself. Oh, I don't smell nothing. And you throw all these clothes on. You get all together, put on your tie and everything. But then you get out there and that sun started hitting you. You know, you only had on eight-hour deodorant anyway. Not to slid into the ninth hour. You don't even realize it because the spunk starts coming up on you slowly. You don't even know it. It, it. it creeps up on you. So your nose adjusts to it. By the end of the day, you funky as hell. You don't even know it because you've been gradually getting it in your system. Don't take a chance. Start your morning by washing up. Get on some fresh stuff. Get clean. Top to bottom clean. You know, some people say, I take a shower every day. Some people say, I take a bath every day. I don't do that shit every day. My mama used to do what she called bird baths. She'd get right in the sink and take care of her business sometimes. Sometimes that's what I do. If that's what you got to do, do that. But get it done. Get your fresh on. Matter of fact, this morning I used, I used uh, secret. Secret. Okay? Secret. Now, the secret they say is uh, made for a woman, but strong enough for a man. I know it works for me. It's gentle. I go with secret in. I like to smell good, so today I went with a Versace. This one's called Eros. E-R-O-S. Eros. Okay? She smelled good. Okay, so now, you start starting basically. You want to have clean socks, clean underwear. Okay? You got that down. Now, today, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be uh, hitting you up with a little blue number. Let me show you that little close that. Little blue number. I'm doing a little blue and red. Well, actually, it's pink, but it's got red encoded in it. All right. Now, I always figure that you start from the bottom up. Okay. So, um, I already got the socks. You know, I'm going with the, the motif of blue. Blue is the, is the main thing with splashes of red. Okay. Slide on the pants. Because people always watch me. They've been watching me for years dress. And then, well, how you do it? Well, you don't have, to have a whole lot of money to do it. You know, you get a decent suit somewhere, shit. Sometimes you get a decent suit for $100, $90. It, 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 it's, not, it's not the clothes. It's you. You wear you. I be wearing Michael motherfucking Kyle. That's what I be wearing. The, uh, all the clothes are just accessories. But with a suit, if you got a couple of suits, you know, you want to have basic suits, guys. At least four basic suits. You want a black, a blue a brown, and either gray or silver. If you got those four, then you can always mix and match your accessories and things and make that happen, okay? Now, today, blue, little polka dot, okay? Now, starting from the bottom, 
I put on the shoes, got the socks, little, little, little taste, little splash of blue. You're not going to see a lot of it, little color, bam, bam. Then the shoe today, I went with something that's a combination, crocodile and snake. I don't know if you can see that good. That's crocodile and snake. Now, I want you to understand, no animals was killed for these shoes, okay? All these alligators uh, were found dead, lying alongside the road. It was more of a gathering. Than the killer, you know what I'm saying? I know some people won't call uh, Peter. Peter gonna be won't call me, man. Well, that's not funny. It is funny. I'm a comedian. It's funny. I didn't kill no animals. I just saw the shoes and they look good. Okay, so you gonna get your shoes on. Ah, there you go. Get your shoes tied up there. And now, can you see? I don't know if you can see. Cause like I said, I ain't got nobody operate the camera. It's just me in a room with a camera doing my thing. Okay. The thing I love to do with your clothes, you know, a lot of folks don't know I'm an addict. Um, I did crack for 23 years. And as of March 1st, I have seven years of pure sobriety. But when I gave up crack, which I spent a whole lot of money and time and energy on, I simply replaced it with a new fad, a new drive, a new craving. That thing is called shopping. I love shopping. Somebody trying to stress me out, you know what I do? I don't get mad. I go buy some shit. So, see how the socks, how it just pops? You, you, you don't want to be too flippant. So you don't see the socks when, when, when the pants are down like that. You only see them. You got a little something on there. A little, little dirt. If you get a little dirt on it too, don't panic. See, my father was a tailor. In Chicago, we grew up in the projects, Robert Teller Home, 4352 South State Park, and that on that. So, my father was a tailor, and all the Jewish people in the hood in Chicago would seek my father out to have him cut suits for them or to keep these clothes, you know, together for them. So, sometimes you learn you got to spot wash. Sometimes everything will look good, and you'll have one little spot of dirt. Don't panic. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like that. That's gone, fellas. That's gone. See, every woman like a well-dressed man. I know nowadays, guys feel like, man, if I just wear me some bad clothes, I'm going to look like a teenager and stuff. That's going to drop. Uh-uh. I'm not in that class of folk. Those some cool people. They all right with me. I get, you know, I get friends as teenagers. And they fly. That's what you do. And I got some fly, casual stuff, too. But today we're talking about being suited and booted. We're talking about how you're going to look when you go down to the office. You want to step out your house looking like a million dollars, even if you only got 17. Okay, so now we got the shoes, we got the slacks. Now, next one comes the shirt. Let me show you something. You got two choices with a dress shirt. Now, actually, you can, you can go several ways, too. You can do other colors. But for me, I think a basic white shirt, a crisp white shirt, is classic. Okay, now... You got two choices here. One is the, the continental shirt, where the cuff is a button cuff. See, you just button that. Most guys go with that. You, you, you can just button that thing, and it's easy. One button, pow, it's done. Me, I go with what is called the French cuff. Hold on. Sit this one down. Hope I'm not boring, y'all. Okay. If I, if I am, I can't tell. I can't see y'all. Shit, I'm at mine. Okay. This is the French cuff. Now, the French cuff, they fold, they fold the cuff over once, and then they have holes that line up so you can put your cuff link in it. Can you see that? Okay, all right. I always prefer the French cuff. Once again, I think that's very elegant. And if you notice something, too, I'm able to get all this done in 15, 20 minutes, you know, because you start out and you have your clothes already laid out. Then once you get your fresh on, you just go do it. Don't, don't get your fresh on and then start walking around trying to find clothes. I always like to have my cross on. You know, I start my day with prayer. Oh, Father God. Father God, I pray that you bless me today and bless me indeed. I pray that you enlarge my territory greatly. I pray that your hand will be with me. Guide me past evil and I will cause no pain. I pray that my day will be super califragilistic, This will get me out of doshas. And then slap some steak on it. You know what I'm saying? Start the day with prayer. Well, I brush my teeth first. Because I don't like to talk to God with a dirty mouth. Brush my teeth, say my prayers, and start getting them together, okay? Then you get your you get jewelry underneath, put that on first. So you don't have to go tuck that in a tight collar. So you throw your shirt on. All right. My 
puppy in there trying to express himself, all right? Now, with the French cuff, of course, you're going to need cuff links. Now, I'm going to show you some choices I went with today, all right? Now, I hope you can see these. That's like a, a blue speckled on black, all right? Um, here, if you really want to just sort of scream out, I have diamond encrusted on a blue glass. That's, that's nice, that's nice. But what I think I'm going to do today is just basic cut glass, a blue cut glass. Can you see how, how that looks? A little closer. Can you see it? Can y'all see how that looks? Okay, all right, okay, okay. So, then take your cuff and put those in. See, all this, this don't take me a lot of time, you know? Uh, put that thing in there. So it's a Friday here. It's a beautiful day. Uh, at least here in Los Angeles, it's a beautiful day. You know, even more beautiful because we're alive. You understand? We're alive. Three people in two days, this big celebrities have committed suicide. This morning, Anthony Boudin. You know that white guy that go all over the world and talks about food, different foods and stuff? I love that dude, man. You know, I can't believe it. I get up this morning, he committed suicide. All right. Uh, a couple of days ago, uh, Kate, I can't think of her last name, but she's very famous for all these pocketbooks and purses and things that she created. Uh, Kate Spade or Kate... What's that Kate lady name? Kate what? Spade. Spade. Okay, yeah, Kate Spade. Kate Spade committed suicide. And she really wanted to do it bad because she hung herself. She hung herself from a doorknob, y'all. A doorknob. You know how hard it is? To hang yourself from a doorknob. She tied one of her famous scarves around her neck and sat down. That's the only way you can hang yourself from a doorknob. Is that you sit on the floor. When I was military police in Germany, this was whew, 70s. Uh, I was military police and we went to uh, into the prisons and one of the cop one of the uh, one of the guys who were arrested committed suicide like that. Tied uh, a sock around the bars. And sat down. You know how, do you realize how committed you gotta be? Because if you choke in death and you sit down, you ain't gotta do shit but stand up and stop it. And she sat down and hung it. So I only mention this to say that life is precious, man. Hell, if you ain't got but one suit, fuck it. Get a bunch of ties and handkerchiefs. Mix and match. It'll look like you got on different stuff every day. Except people who really follow you closely. And they'll be like, damn, he wore that yesterday. You want a nice belt, you know, mainly because you want your pants to be up on you. I do not understand this fad or this trend of having your pants hanging off your head. What, what is that about? Who taught you that? Your mom or your dad didn't teach you that. Some other kid had to teach you that because that shit is not tasteful. And generally, the guys who got the belts and the pants hanging off their head don't even have on no damn attractive drawers. I can almost understand. If you got some fly ass designer drawers, then you go walking about your shit hanging off. Oh, man, that's, that's fly shit right there. But these old baggy, ugly ass drawers that people wearing, why they pants in it? Man, that is not. Man, quick, that ain't no real fashion. Be fucking with you. Let that go. Put your pants on. Cinch it up. You want to have a nice line going, okay? Next, there's the tie. Now, I have 480 ties. Today I just chose little pink. Red combination with splashes of blue because you're staying with the blue thing. Now, tie to tie is not nearly as difficult as people think it is. I do it without a mirror. I don't have to have no mirror. Somebody really should show your president because he sure ain't mad. Uh, somebody needs to show Trump how to tie tie. First of all, his tie is way too long. Your tie is not supposed to hang way the hell down there. If your, if your tie is covering up your penis, it's too long. Okay? I should have a nice little length, put it through there. Now, you know, I, I'm going kind of fast, but on one day I'm going to do just ties. Ties and handkerchiefs, show you out of town. There you go. Very simple, very simple. One time around. People do their ties differently. It's about four or five ways to tie your tie. Ah, I get that top button on there. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah. Now, you don't have to go all fancy. Like I do with the shirts. Because I go fancy. All my shirts are cut. My dress shirts are cut for me. 
I pick the fabric. I usually have my whole name put on it. I don't even just, some people just do initials. I put the whole name, my kai, on it. Yeah. So that way, <laughs> remember, I, and I'm drunk, and the police pull me over. And they said, partner, what's your name? I can say, oh, uh, boy, uh, my kai. <laughs> I'm just bullshitting. I don't, I don't drink. I don't do none of that stuff. I'm, uh, I don't smoke it, shoot it, sip it, toot it. I don't do none of that anymore. Used to, did all of it. But not no more. I wouldn't take a sip of champagne. Uh, as a celebration, if I hit the lotto for a hundred million dollars, because sobriety is everything to me. The gift of sobriety, everything I have, is because I'm sober, man. And right now, I'm standing smack dab in the middle of my dream. Okay, so now we did the shoes, we did the socks, we did the pants. Got the belt on, got the tie, the cufflinks. Okay, let's keep accessorizing. Okay, next, put a little, little blue in the jewelry. Okay, I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with like, see that? Little blue, blue, little blue, red, red, little red in the ring, and the blue. That takes care of that. On this side, I uh, have a traditional pinky ring, but then I want to throw on a watch. One day we're going to just do jewelry, guys. We're just going to go through all the jewelry, different watches, what watches go with things, what things. Today I'm just doing a very basic, uh, this is a Michael Kors watch, actually. Very simple, very simplistic. Uh, diamonds around the face, little gold. You know, okay, now, now you got your basic setup. Now you, 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 you feel it. Now you've got to go to the, the closer, and that is the jacket. Okay. Now, when I wear jackets, two things I always like to do. I love a lapel pin. For some reason, I just think a lapel pin gives your suit elegance. I don't even know what this pin say. When I see men with a lapel pin, if they're fans of mine, and they say, oh, I love your comedy. I say, well, man, I sure do love that pen. Can I have it? And people can give, I got hundreds of pens that people just give me. And if y'all want to give me stuff, you can either write me uh, on my email, comicking123 at aol.com, and I can send you information. Or you can mail goodies to me. I take clothing of any type. You can send suits, belts, shirts, little pens like this, ties, handkerchiefs. I don't turn down nothing but my collar. You hear me? And um, I'll take the pen from somebody and i put it on the jacket. Now look how elegant. How elegant that looks. Just, just a pen. You know, just, it, it, just, it makes a suit pop, you know. Then I use a handkerchief. Now I always use a handkerchief. Sometimes I just use a sock. You know, if I put a red sock in there, that shit's going to look just like a handkerchief. Ain't nobody going to know unless you tell them. Okay, so now you have your full setup, right? Shirt, tie, suit. Together, pants, shoes, fresh, you're fresh, okay? Then, I just throw on some shades. What? Hey, now we're ready for the party, you know what I'm saying? Some people know, think they know what stepping is, man, but stepping ain't just going back and forth. Sometimes you do the stutter step. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I've been your boy today. This is Styling and Profiling with your boy, Michael motherfucking Callier. If y'all want to mail things to me, send it to Michael Callier, 3212 West 85th Street, Suite 2634, Inglewood, California, Inglewood in the motherfucking hood, Inglewood, California, 90305. I'm going to try to do one of these every week. I don't know how it's going to go because I'm just trying. I'm just learning. I ain't got nobody here to operate the camera. But I'm not going to let that stop me from being Michael motherfucking Kanye. Y'all have a good Friday. God bless you real good. I mentioned the people who took themselves out so you can remember that life is precious. It's delicious. It's tasty. And besides, what happens if you commit suicide and five minutes later, shit change? Ain't no do-over in suicide, baby. Hold on, no matter what. As long as you keep God first, you can do anything, you can be anything. God digs you and so do I. Have a good day. Talk to y'all later.